Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the starting eleven show, Everton versus Sheffield United, the final home game of the season. Uh, and we just want three points, don't we? We want to go out on a high, enjoy after the match, and uh, yeah, then look forward to next season, maybe. Uh, our last season at Goodison Park. So let's get into it. In goal, Jordan Pickford. Let's hope he gets another clean sheet at home. He's just missed out on the Golden Glove Award. Obviously, that's gone to David Ray, but listen, it'd just be nice to see him get another clean sheet and finish the season off strong at, at Goodison. Uh, obviously, had a good, solid season in contention for one of the players of the season as well. So, Jordan Pickford in goal. In right right back, I am, I'm going to continue with Ben Godfrey. You know, if maybe if things had been slightly different, I would have gone for Seamus Coleman, but... Um, I imagine Seamus Coleman will be at the club next season now. It sounds like the club have offered him a new deal. And I think if he wasn't taking it, he, he probably would have told everybody by now with it being the last home game of the season. So and I don't feel like there's any need to be really sentimental about that. Uh, I think Ben Godfrey's done well in that position of late and, and has held it for, 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 you know, the best part of three or four months now, hasn't he? So, um well, certainly the last three months, bar a, bar a couple of games. So, yeah, he'll continue at right back and he's done well. It'll be interesting to see how that develops next season, whether the manager season was a long term, uh, you know, player in that position or it is just being something of a uh, of a filler for it. We'll have to wait and see. But he, he continues at right back for me. At left back, Ashley Young, who's done okay in the last few games. Michalenko, obviously, we know is out. Uh, for the final games of the season, and we hope he gets back for the Euros. But uh, Ashley Young, who's, you know, listen, he's not everyone's cup of tea, but you just, again, all you ask for is another solid game and, and not to give any contentious decisions or give the referee any decisions to make. Um, yeah, so he'll start at left-back, because, again, there's, there's no one else really, is there? At centre-back, James Tarkowski and Jared Brantway. These two have been the backbone with Jordan Pickford for us not having to worry about this game. They've been magnificent this season. And, of course, there's going to be a lot of rumours about Jared Brantway in the next few weeks, sadly. Uh, we have to do everything we can to keep him at the football club. I know that's going to be very, very tough. Um, but he's been magnificent this season, as James Tarkowski has as well. They've found a really... Good consistency of being a fantastic partnership as well. Um, you'd love to see that continue next season. We don't know whether it will, um, but certainly James Tarkowski will remain at the football club. But if we could keep both, then straight away you'd say, you know, probably be all right next season. But that is the way it is. That is the way the football club is, is at the moment. So that is uh, that is my starting centre-backs. Into midfield, Adris Agana Gay. He's another one, well, he's one who could potentially play in his last ever game at Goodison Park, which is a horrible thing to think. Really hope he isn't. Really hope that he's here next season. But the club have already said tough decisions are going to have to be made and that might apply to players who are um, out of contract and Everton just can't offer them what maybe they're on already or what other people are on. I'd do anything to keep a Disagana gay or do everything within our powers to keep a Disagana gay at the football club. I think he's been brilliant in the last month as well. Been absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're popping up with a couple of goals as well. Obviously, got the winner in the last home game. So, got to try and keep him at the club. And alongside him, James Garner, who again, I think, has done really well of late. Unfortunately, last week to pick up such an early booking against Luton Town, um, that basically meant he couldn't play his natural game for a lot of that game then. Um but he's someone who I think of late has come on and I think Onana will be sold in the summer and and, and James Garner will sort of inherit that role more, consistency, more, more consistently and that will be his job to play more in that number six role. And I think when he plays it and he, he is the main man in it, I think he's he's got a good future for Everton in that role. Um, it is good that he has the energy of a Jissigan again next to him and the experience. So we just hopefully he he has a game like he did against Brentford where I thought he played really well. So those two in midfield, on the right hand side, Jack Harrison could be his last game at Goodison Park in an Everton shirt, um, unless I don't know. I really don't know whether Leeds 
don't come up and then maybe Evan can get them for another year. I just can't see us getting them on the terms we want for them to remain an Everton player permanently. I just can't see that being an option unless uh, we can get them on another year's loan. And that might depend on Leeds thinking, even if Leeds come up, maybe they, with some of the young talent they've got had this season emerging, they might think, we don't really need him. But then other clubs might come in and take him, take him off us. So potentially Jack Harrison's last game, Goodson Park in an Everton shirt. On the other side, Dwight McNeil, who obviously has been coming off that left hand side and hit, getting into a more central role in the last few weeks and um, scored his goal against Forest in that kind of position. Smashed one off the bar against Brentford. He's looked a lot brighter in the last few weeks, um, and it'd be interesting to see how that develops next season. Whether he does play in a more central role, and if Evan could bring someone on the left to to play that role bit more permanently and allow him to play more central, we'll have to wait and see um, how that plays out. But certainly, again, he's another one who's, who's improved a lot in the last few weeks and um, staff on the left-hand side. Uh, yeah, that means a slight change in the formation. And I'm going for Chimiti behind Dominic Carvalhoen. You know, I think Chimiti, obviously a young talent, and we've seen a little bit more of him in the last few weeks. So we obviously started the last game against Brentford. To me, he looks like someone who can play off the centre-forward rather than being the centre-forward on his own. And I think this is an, an opportunity maybe to play him in that position. I'm disappointed against Luton. We didn't bring him on and put him up front with Dominic Carvalho Lewin rather than putting him up front with Beto. I think having someone like Dom just ahead of him or alongside him could get a little bit more out of Chimiti. And it'd be, uh, I think this would be a really good opportunity to just see him. I just don't think the Corey in that role has been at it. I think the Corey coming from a deeper role has, has done okay. But I think this is an opportunity to have a little look at Chimiti and see see how he gets on. And obviously, Dom, good opportunity for him to extend the goal scoring um, that he's obviously shown in the last few weeks. Um, so why not? Why not give it a go and see what happens? Anyway, that's my start 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree with that? Let me know who you'd have starting. We, we'll all find out at 2 o'clock on Saturday when Sean Dyche, or should I say Tracky Dyche, announces his Everton team to face Sheffield United. There you go. Make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. We get daily live exclusive shows. Plus, there's no ads on any of the shows or the podcasts. The link is in the description. The QR code's come on the screen now. See you later.